What do we got here? Elegance with attitude. 1968 Dodge Charger. Holy guacamole! Jeez. Where'd you get the motor? States. No, like, uh, oh, dude, you actually bought it? Like, yeah. or was it you? Power performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're around by smash up cars at auction and salvage drag trains. Can we hear it? It's got on that 32 one. day build. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he should go to uh, Maloney, should go to him for, for his build. <laughs> it even says 32 on here. 32 days ago. That's the original mileage on the car, too. My stepdad had bought it brand new in 69. Wow. 68, but he bought it at the 69 dealer demo. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> nah. Hey, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see the coupe. Which coupe? What do you want to see? What year is this thing? 68. 68? Yeah, 68. How much horsepower are you pumping out of this thing? I don't know for sure. The motor's new. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just put it in on Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's so it's got about five minutes of runtime on it, but it's putting out some boost. Yeah. I'd say neighborhood 8, 850. That's rare. Fastback Charger. Fastback. That's a rare one right here. This charger right here. Imagine replacing the windows on this one, man. That's rare. Fastback charger. That this is rare. Yeah. Got on that 32 day builds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe he should go to uh, Maloney should go to him for, for his build. <laughs> it even says 32 on here. 32 days ago. That's the original mileage on the car, too. My stepdad had bought it brand new in 69. Wow. 68, but he bought it at the 69 dealer demo. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> nah. Hey, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see the coupe. Which coupe? What do you want to see? What year is this thing? 68. 68? Yeah, 68. How much how horsepower are you pumping out of this thing? I don't know for sure. The motor's new. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just put it in on Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's so it's got about five minutes of run time on it, but it's putting out some boost. Yeah. I'd say neighborhood 8, 850. 850? Yeah. How Any much, more than that, how much boost are you running? 15 pounds right 15 now. pounds. Yeah, right Phenomenal. Now. Just for breaking in. Yeah, yeah. So you just threw it on Thursday. Oh, yeah. Yet. The whole car <laughs> was a 32 day build. 32 day build? 32 day. I started it July 12th. It was in the barn. Um, covered in dirt and dust. and burn. Really? Yeah. It was a barn find. No motor, no trans, no interior. Get out of here. No. You, a, you know what you're doing. There's an envelope, or there's a, what do you call it, Al album on the front. Yeah, yeah. It showed what happened. Oh, really? Yeah, so. Yeah, very, uh, very intense, quick <laughs> build. That is super yeah. quick. Yeah. How'd you source out all the parts? Like I had the motor in that laying around, the yeah. supercharger laying around. Uh, the interior was out, but it was mint. It was yeah. ready to go back in. So it uh, just basically put it all back together, but you got to do a lot of fabbing after that. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the motor had never been in the car before, the supercharger had never been in the car before. So Really? What kind of supercharger? It's uh, Wien 871. 871. Yeah, Thanks. Did you drive it over here? No, I did not. We took it off. We pulled it off the trailer and all these strong men helped me unload it. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Yeah. That, that That's a barn find. Yeah, pretty yeah. kind of in a way. It's my barn, but yeah, it's yeah. a barn so, find. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, thank you. Appreciate no, it. No problem. Uh, it'll be uh, on this on this channel. Pardon me? It'll be on this channel. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. We'll be over there. Right Thank on. you. Thank you. He went crazy. What's that? Oh, yeah. Greg's dad's on the live. Hey! <laughs> <laughs>
Here's Greg. Your dad's on the live. Nice. He says, let's see the coop. Can you type in what coop? That coop? Oh, yeah. That thing? It's okay. 33. 33? Okay. The black one. Okay, okay. All right. What do we got here? Elegance with attitude. 1968 Dodge Charger. Guacamole! Jeez! Where'd you get the motor? Uh, the States. No, like, the, oh, you, you actually bought it? Like, yeah. or was it you? Power Performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were by smash up cars at auction and some drive trains. Can we hear it? <laughs> oh, this guy's yours? Yeah. Nice! Yeah. My son built the car, the model for Oh, wow. The other son found me the turn tape on Amazon. Yeah. So, oh, well, I gotta display that at the car shows. Where'd you pick this thing up? Uh, well, it came from California. I got it in Mississauga in the early 90s. Really? Yeah, somebody brought it up from there. And the good old days. Couldn't uh, couldn't keep it for one reason or another. Yeah. Going through a divorce. And so they put it back up for sale. I got five grand back then. This was five grand? Well, Get out of here. It looked like that, though. <laughs> That's, how much money did you put into it? Oh, about another hundred. <laughs> another hundred, yeah? On top of the five, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what did, did you get all done with it? Yeah, I got done at uh, National Mopars up in Beaverton. They, okay. they did the full resto for it. So the full resto? Oh, yeah, they yeah. went right from, yeah, we had it all stripped right down. And uh, we've changed, changed a few things, you know, put, put the disc brakes on the front, put the uh, 440 in it. It was a 383 car originally. Right. How do you like the 440 compared to the 383? Well, uh, it was originally just a two-barrel, see, it was a, it was a factory air, Two barrel automatic power brake power steering car. Yeah, okay. So that's how it was shipped to California. But, yeah. uh, but so we, now we got the tweaked up 440, and uh, I got a I got a three speed torque flight with a gear vendor overdrive on it, 323 shore grip in the nice. back. Nice. <laughs> so wow. It'll it'll, it'll um, it's got some umph, but it'll still cruise nice too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For and, both the track. Com comfortable with the AC on. Have you taken it to the track at all? No, I haven't, haven't yet. I keep planning to, but, yeah. but you know, one thing another keeps getting in the way. 100%. But we're, uh, we're working on it. How much horsepower do you think you're pulling off of this baby? Oh, four and a half, easy. From four and a half, yeah? At least, yeah, maybe close to five. I don't know. I'd yeah. have to dyno it and get it tweaked a little bit. Oh, that'd be phenomenal. So, yeah. Is that a four yeah. barrel in there? Yeah, it's a Holley 750. 750, yeah. big boy. Yeah. Yeah. It's been mild po polish competition cam. Yeah. And uh, it's got the ceramic headers going through the Flowmaster mufflers. Master mufflers, a three inch all the way back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I put the RT. It's not an RT, but I put the RT uh, tips on the end. Oh, so you up badged? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> they asked me if I wanted to put the stripe and stuff on it, and I said I, the body, the shape of this car. Yeah. I think less is more because it's got such nice lines already. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, hundred yeah. percent. Was this the original color? No, it was a metallic brown. Metallic uh, brown, yeah. Yeah, but a guy at a body shop showed me this color. He said, I think your car looked nice like that. Yeah. So, okay, well, let's try it and see. And when it first came out of the paint booth and it was all stripped down, I wasn't sure. You know, ooh, did right. I make a right call here? But once we put the chrome and the black vinyl roof on and everything, I think it blends nicely. Yeah. yeah. How long did the whole build take? Well, I took it in the, into the, sh well, I had it painted back in the 90s, not long after I bought it, but that was, the guy didn't do a real good job. Yeah. He, he left a lot of body filler in it and stuff, so after a few winters, it, uh, sitting in a shelter there, it, uh, it started to crack it in a few places because there was a lot of filler in it. Right. So, uh, so when I took it up to the National Mopars, he, he did a real good job. See, he painted it the same color, yeah. but um, this is a water base. The original was a Seekins uh, oil-based paint, so okay. he went to he managed to blend in uh, water based the same but he still added a bit of flake to it so it changes color a bit yeah and um so i took it in 2011 i got it back in 2014 but they didn't work three years time. yeah, yeah. Uh, i just told them you know like yeah do what you can but you know if somebody else needs their car in a hurry you know go ahead and let yeah. them jump the queue but you know we'll, we'll just take it as it comes do you drive this thing in the winter time oh no <laughs> <laughs> She's a California girl. She only yeah. comes out in the nice weather. When do you when do you take it out? Is this the first uh, weekend out? Or? No, no, no. I was at the three shows last weekend. And three shows? We yeah. don't even do three in a month. Well, Come on, yeah. well I went to, uh, I was going to go out on the Saturday night, but it didn't look, uh, looked a little bit iffy. Yeah, yeah. So I went for uh, cars and coffee on, 
uh, Stouffville on the Sunday morning. Then I went down to Whitby. There was a show going on at Whitby. Yeah. And then on the Monday night, I went down to the one at, uh, at uh, Major Mac and the, nice. and the uh, Canadian Tyler. Got best in show there. Yeah. <laughs> you, looks like you did the re re redid the interior, or is that oh, original? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we redid all the interior too. But the interior is pretty much the way it should be. Yeah. Except I put a tick-tock tack in there because it was just a clock and a speedometer originally. It was nice. original time. Awesome. And, uh, but other than that, yeah, we had to put a new console in because when I bought the car, it had a little tiny steering wheel on it like this. Yeah. I think it was a gang car down in California. Oh, probably. <laughs> and it had, uh, it had the glass pack mufflers. It had a B&M shifter, and the yeah. console was all ripped out. Oh, yeah. With glass pack mufflers on it, so it sounded really rough, rough and You should have kept it that way. It might nah, make it nostalgia, nah, right? Nah, nah, Gangster nah. car from the 90s. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> nah. no, my, my inspiration was Bullet when I... When I saw the movie Bullet with Steve McQueen, yeah. Mustang was cool, but when I saw that black charge come on Steve the screen, that, that just, well, he was the king of cool anyway. Yeah. But, but yeah. when that black charger came on the screen, the bad guys were driving, I thought, oh, I've got to get one of those. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> then I got to ride him one after I moved him. Yeah. So. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate right. it. Yeah. <laughs> what exhaust you're running? Black Widow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's hear this baby. Switched direction when I realized how expensive it would be to build a 900 horsepower supercharged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. This was actually much, much cheaper and more drivable. What's what's the tranny like? What's it's a six-speed Tremec. Okay. Oh, sweet. But it was a package from Cleveland Power and Performance in the state. Nice. What about the rear end? What, what's uh, the stock rear end? Okay. Um, with four levens. Uh, you kind of splice a 70 drive shaft with a Hellcat drive shaft. Yeah, 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 yeah. Connect, yeah. but yeah. yeah. How much power are you, you pu pushing out of this baby? 45 stock on these engines. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, with like the little intake and the exhaust is three inch and dump so just uh, by the rear axle, so I'm hoping that gives it a bit more. Gotcha, yeah. How's the drivability? Is like pretty good? It's, it's for, tight. It's all, um, yeah. it's all custom suspension built by another guy in the States. Nice. His car, so it's, it, it handles pretty much like a new one. Yeah, where'd you get this wrapped on? A guy in town, I think it's. It's either Redline or Adrenaline on one of the sophomore Oh, ones. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he ripped it off pretty quick. Yeah. That's amazing. Just because I ran out of money. Yeah, yeah. Point, right? Yeah. Have you taken this to the track at all? No. No? It's not quite there yet. Yeah, yeah. We're going to sort out some rear end stuff with it. Oh, yeah, I bet, yeah. 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 That's rare. Fastback charger. Fastback, that's a rare one right here. This charger right here. Imagine replacing the windows on this one, man. That's rare. Fastback charger. That, this is rare. Yeah, just cruise in there. Yeah. Yeah. Fastback, 
Seven swap. Back, he's like, you're not running cargo, but talking to anyone, it's fucking great. He's different now. He's been talking about farting with quail, like, stinking everyone out of cars. And... <laughs> we see you to be the arrogant one. 